Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, we're gonna do a massive RV window upgrade. If you wanna learn more and make less mistakes while RVing, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the little notification bell below. Stand by for bloopers. Like a lot of other RVers, we've been wanting to do a window treatment upgrade for a while and just haven't really had the motiva motivation or the design in our heads to really do it. And uh, the other day we came across something on Facebook Marketplace, I think it was. Um, and it was a really, really good deal on six sets of blinds, or not blinds, uh, shades. And we liked the color, we liked the pattern, so we went and got it because it was such a good deal. We got it back to the RV and it just looked horrible. The color was real bad. It just clashed with the color of the RV. It just It just didn't look right. But then we already had the bug in our system. So we took a trip to Walmart and went and found about four or five different uh, patterns that we thought would, would work. We brought them all back, compared, talked about it, decided on what we wanted to do. Went back to Walmart, returned the old stuff, and then got the right amount of curtain rods and curtains for what we want to do. So first thing we're going to do is take off these balances. We're going to take off the blinds and um, mount up the new stuff. It's really going to be a pretty simple process, but uh, this is the before. As you can see, let's see what it looks like after. Real quick before we get started, I want to talk to you guys about uh, one of the other reasons we were wanting to do this. So in the summer, when we've been in some pretty hot areas like Arizona, um, out in Utah, um, shoot, even even we were up uh, in Michigan, with just the, the sun beating down on some of these windows, it just it radiates through these windows. And these are tinted windows as well, but they're only single pane. So what we got was blackout thermal curtain uh, to be able to try and reject that heat. So we're gonna really not be able to tell the difference in that until this next summer, but we will be doing a follow-up to kind of show you the temperature difference of uh, the temperature at the window versus with those blackout thermals. While we're doing everything with the inside blinds and shades, I also decided to do something with the door. So let's show you what that's gonna be. Most of you probably have this style window on your door that's a little glazed, so you can't really see through it, but it lets natural light in which is great and everything, but uh, we are gonna go ahead and upgrade to the thin shade, uh, which is, you know, has a blind in it so it can black out. So let's get this installed and see what it looks like. Step one should be relatively simple. We're just gonna go ahead and take out all the screws on this frame and take the old one out. Now that we got the old one out, we're gonna go ahead and get all the uh, silicone and stuff cleaned up. The instructions say to go ahead and put a little piece of tape just because what is holding us against here right now is that little bit of pre-silicone pre uh, stuff. And if it gives and it falls out, then that's why we want you to put some tape. So I'm just gonna put very tiny piece of tape right there, just enough to help it hold. Now we can get the uh, inside portion. Okay, I really just used those first four screws just to get this in place. I didn't really tighten it up, but now I know that the uh, window's not going anywhere. Now that I got the screws all set and it's nice and tight, I can go ahead and start adding all the rest of them in here. That's all of them. Now we got a nice blackout curtain. Comes all the way down. We're up and we got a nice tinted piece of glass. Let's see what it looks like inside. It makes it extremely dark in here. I have a couple of the blackout curtains open behind me, but as you can tell, even with some light coming in this way, this thing barely is putting any light in. Um, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Let's see a look at what it looks like with just the tinted glass. That's still so much better than it was with just a regular piece of glass in there. 
um, and now I can actually see out my window, but people can't see in, so that's a really, really nice feature. So even if you don't like the shade portion of this type thing, and you just want to replace with the tinted glass, this thing's pretty nice. I think it was $90, $80 or, 80 or $90 on uh, Amazon. I'm going to put a link below to it um, so you can go ahead and check it out. But super easy to install. I already came with a bead of uh, sealant on the outside. As you saw, super, super simple. Just unscrew and screw in the new stuff. So let's show you what the rest of the RV looks like now. And now the big reveal. Ta-da. What's really nice about the way we did this is I, you can kind of do multiple configurations. One, we can have the shears down, but the curtains all the way open uh, to have more light coming in, but still be blocked from outside. Or we can bring them all the way over. Suck everything behind the hooks. And it looks really nice this way too. So just on a design aspect, the reason we went with these curtains uh, is because this tan perfectly matches the wall as well as we got these blackout curtains for the sides because we didn't want this so much color everywhere. So that's why we did just these little tan things on the side. Um, and then the blue and stuff matches our chairs. It almost matches perfectly. It's really, really nice color, uh, color combination. But again, I can do the same thing on these windows where I can just kind of open them to the side or I can drape them all the way over. And you have multiple options in terms of how much you want them to drape. And also for these little small windows, we did the same thing with these blackout curtains. I put little hooks back here. Obviously it doesn't look as nice as these nice, nice fabrics, but if you do want more light in, you can open them up or if you want to close it off. It's nice and it prevents almost any light from coming through. I mean, it's, it's so minimal, it's ridiculous. Now what Erica actually did with these, because this curtain is just a really super paper thin curtain, but as you can see, it's completely blackout. And that's because Erica sewed a blackout curtain onto the back of the regular curtain. And uh, really wasn't all too difficult uh, for me, um, but you uh, can imagine the work she went through to get that done. And it made it so that these are not only blackout, but they're also that thermal protection. They're really, really thick on the back. So it does a great job of keeping the heat out. Here in the bedroom, I did something a little similar. We took the same exact curtain pattern just because I, I, we really like the colors. It matches our blanket, just like it matches our chairs, it matches the walls, kind of even matches our little headboard back there. Um, so she, she did the same thing with the curtain and the blackout um, curtain on the back. But the difference in here is because we wanted it real tight and flush to the wall, I didn't use an actual curtain rod hanger. I literally just put little pins up at the top and these little tiny retaining clips at the bottom and it just keeps it nice and flush and tight to the wall and if i want to just pull it out so that i can either uh, open up the window or if i wanted to open it and just like fold it back that way i can do that and uh, we did that on both sides and it just makes it really really nice and it stays pitch black in here in the morning so we can sleep in as long as we want without any light coming through that's it for this week's video thanks again for watching uh, again, this is just kind of give you guys some inspiration and some ideas for what you could do in your RV, but obviously the colors and the curtain is going to be what you find works for you. But until next time, thanks for watching. We'll see you. Bye. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Why Not RV. On this week's episode, we're going to do a... This is, this is what I this is what I have to deal with. All right, let's try it again. Are you done? Are we good? I'm not done yet. Hey everybody! Hey everybody.
Hey everybody. Hey everybody. <laughs> Can't give a straight face. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Can't even look at her. Okay. Hey everybody, what? Well